This is the heartwarming moment a dying Shire horse was saved by her stablemate after their owners spent six hours trying to get her to stand up. Beatrice was found collapsed and face down in her stable after suffering equine colic and severe abdominal pain. Because she was so heavy, the longer she remained on the floor, the greater her risk of fatal organ failure. Her owners Donald McIntyre and his wife Jane Lippington had tried and failed for six hours with the help of four farm workers to get her to her feet. But just 20 minutes before they were due to put her down, her stablemate Bo saved the day bounding towards her and getting her to stand up. Beatrice and Bo have been mates for four years and have had one foal for each year they have been together. The couple of Langridge, near Bath, Somerset, first knew something was wrong when they walked in and found her lying prostrate on the ground at around 9 a.m. Weighing a ton, she had caused her legs to go dead and was unable to stand up. Dot pressure had also built up on her internal organs, which caused her temperature to drop and heart rate to increase. On their vet's advice they attempted to turn Beatrice over on her other side. But even after strapping her up and tying her to a tractor, they were unable to. After battling for six hours, they decided to give the 16-year-old horse a deadline, after which they would make the call to have her put down. But just in time, Beatrice's 11-year-old companion Bo was let out of her stable. Instead of heading to the yard, the stallion ran towards his friend, muzzling at her head from over the stable door. He began biting at Beatrice's neck, grabbing hold of her halter and shaking it. As his amazed owners watched on in awe, Beatrice began to stand up. She has since made a full recovery. Ms. Lippington, 60, said, It is absolutely astonishing. We were prepared to lose her and had arranged for her to be put down, but Bo knew what to do. We let him out in the yard for a walkabout, but he marched across the intervening stable and leaned over the partition and started nipping at her, getting hold of her halter with his teeth and shaking it. He then lifted her head up and lifted her into a more upright position. We all watched with amazement. He lifted her so that her chest and legs came up off the ground, with a little encouragement from us, she got shakily to her feet and we quickly walked her out into the yard trying to stop her falling down. As we were walking her, we phoned to cancel her being put down. It was that closed. Our vet who was astounded. We are used to seeing extraordinary interactions between the horses, but we have never witnessed a horse saving another's life. Bo achieved what six hours of human endeavor with straps and machinery had failed to he managed to lift Beatrice up off the floor which has allowed her to live on. Mr. McIntyre, 68, added, I haven't seen anything like it before. They are long term companions, and Bo was well aware of what was going on in the stable next door. The first chance he had when he was let out, he went straight for her to help. The horses have been friends for four years, and the couple have 23 Shire horses on their farm, where they keep the rare breed. Ms. Lippington added, four of us could not move her. A friend who has experience of turning cows arrived. He helped us attach a strap under her hind leg through the roof structure of the barn to a tractor in the yard. We managed to flip her over but made no effort to get up. It has long been understood that horses have the ability to recognize emotions in each other, but researchers found two years ago that domestication by humans could have seen them adapt that ability to men and women.
Scientists at Sussex University also found in February 2016 that horses are able to discriminate between happy and angry expressions on human faces and that their heart rate increases when they see an irate face. Duncan Ballard, a horse vet at Bushy Equine of Bristol, said, Horses are herd animals and generally, if one horse is down others around it wouldn't make much of an effort, maybe one may paw it. But generally they would probably go off in a direction. So, to come across a horse that actually physically grabbed another in the way Bo did to Beatrice is incredibly rare. Shire horses are known to be emotionally intelligent, and that certainly is the case with Bo. His colleague Dr. Amber Whitmarsh, who treated Beatrice, added, We have discussed the arrangements with Jane and Donald to have Beatrice put down, so it was looking grim for her until Bo helped her to her feet. I have been qualified seven years now, and I have never seen anything like it before. I think Bo was aware of what was going on and wanted to help, but he was kept out of the way so that he didn't distract her while we were trying everything to get her up.